Oh, good. All right, so I, th I think we're streaming again. Hi, it's me, Matt. Uh, trying it again, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, can you guys see me, Riccio, or other Discord fellers? You have an ad. That's so funny to me. What do you get an ad for? <laughs> Commercial for bo for boner pills. Play link. Ugh. You're you're in uncanny valley, baby. All right, so we back. We back. This is Super Apartment Friends. I'm Matt playing Dracula X for uh, Octoween, aka Spooker Apartment Fiends, aka Spooktober. AKA the best month of the year. Uh oh, and I got a sneeze coming on. Alright, I think I have to kill this thing and not just run from it. Oh no. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh god, okay. There's a network error? Oh no. That's. Well, now Twitch chat's working. <laughs> okay, cool. Hey, hell yeah. Ted, I can see you. Oh, good. I love it when things work. Nothing like nothing drives me crazier quicker than things not working, but then things working. Oh fuck. He sends me flying. Uh but when things work again, then it's like, ah. Uh, like I'm a per I'm a human again. Yeah, well cuz I mean, well no, that's that's purely because I have the volume down low on my TV because I'm a, I'm a level with you. Super apartment friends, kind of a ghetto setup. <laughs> we don't have a huge budget for equipment. So like whatever game audio you get is just whatever this mic can pick up from my TV. Cause, because I'm on a Mac. Oh shit. He's falling on me. What a douche. Um, so I'm on a Mac and I tried, I tried for a long time to get, and I use OBS, uh, open broadcast software to, to do this. Um, and so OBS doesn't play nice with the Mac OS. So if you want to broadcast game audio, you have to get this, this other program called Soundflower. And I did all that shit and it still doesn't work. And eventually I just said, well, fuck it. I don't, I don't care. <laughs> Cause most, like when I watch, when I watch a Twitch stream, most of them that I watch, if, if you do get any game audio, it's usually pretty faint because and i and i think that kind of fits with our mo we're a little more about the the conversation than just purely the game i, I mean it, both i like both but for audio purposes i think um i think the jibba jabba is is the big attraction what's that the conversation Yeah, that's, and that's, <laughs> right, yeah, we're, I would say if there's any group that we're not very cool with, it would be Nazis. But yeah, everybody else is fine. Ah. Oh, no. <laughs> it's so silly. Wolfenstein, like, there are reasons to, to have Wolfenstein be a controversial game, like the gore, the extreme gore. That's, that's a legit reason to, to be upset about Wolfenstein. Killing Nazis is not. <laughs> that's not a legitimate reason to be upset about that game. Right! Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Right. They are the villains. It's okay to want to kill the villains. <laughs> <laughs> genocidal maniacs it's okay to not want them around I, that and i can't i can't believe we live in a world where that's like an edgy opinion now that used to be that used to be the safest most like vanilla ass opinion to have and now it's real edgy i i can't believe it that's like oh yeah welcome to welcome to feeling uh, welcome to feeling old, Riccio. It's fucking weird. And you're still in college. You should not feel old at all. 
but uh, we live in a weird nightmare dimension, so... <laughs> we... <laughs> hey, you know what? Schwarzenegger as governor wasn't great, but it was a hell of a lot better than, you know, some other celebrity politicians. Hello, who's this? Yeah. What's up, Ted? We did it. We did it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lucky you, Ted. Start flexing them fingers, buddy. Ted, welcome to Discord. Aw, oh, yeah. So this... Oh, yeah. No, I, I haven't figured out that boss yet. I like that this game just throws you into it. Like, it's... You would think a late, like, a later Castlevania would give you... Like, Symphony of the Night kind of gives you a, a, a gimme opening level. Or maybe I'm thinking of a different one. I know there's one that opens with, like, kind of a, an easy breeze, but cool-looking boss fight. That might be... I don't know which one that is. My castle, my Castlevania knowledge is is spotty. Sp yeah, ex right, some fan I turned out to be. I Yeah, I am a Fairweather fan, for sure. I will happily admit that. Um, but yeah, this one just throws you into it. Which is kind of nice. This is definitely, like, no-frills Castlevania. Like, it doesn't have... It doesn't have the real crazy uh, whip moves like Super Castlevania had, um, where you could just you could you could whip in like all eight directions, and you could also dangle it, which was hilarious. I don't know how useful that was, but I like that you could do it. I don't like that the bats are invulnerable when they're roosting. That is bullshit. I should be able to kill you in your sleep, just like in real life. <laughs> oh, like kind of like how. Kind of like how cats uh, are liquids because they fill whatever container they're in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man, it is satisfying killing a skeleton though. I like I like that they uh, I like that they crumble into different bones. Cause some of the Castlevania games, when you whip a skeleton, they explode into just like five hundred femurs, which is also super fun, but like in a different kind of ridiculous way. Fuck you, Medusa. I hate you, Medusa. You're one of my favorite Greek mythology characters, but I hate you in Castlevania. There we go. Good. Let's let's take on this boss with no health. I think there's a there's some wall ham somewhere. Wall ham. <laughs> Where's my wall ham? Damn. I don't know. I almost watched. Rick, if you're not on the Discord, Rickio, get on the Discord if you're not. But Rickio just asked, um, do you think that there's any fun references to things like Wallham in the in the Netflix anime? And I fucking hope there is, but I don't trust it because it's anime. And anime, I don't know. Anime takes itself very seriously most of the time. Most of the time. I know there's some funny shit out there, but... Um, Let's just all talk over each other. That's <laughs> that's how I always do it. <laughs> just start yelling. Yeah. Ooh, you got quiet hours because you're in the dorms, Ricky. Oh, you shit. You little fucker. You little shit. Ooh, I'm a Ricky. I'm trying to better myself. Great. Just kidding. That That is great. Hey, what up? Oh. Oh, I didn't have to hit him. I just had to outrun him. So do you just, I was going to say, so you just, Ted, you just use it natively, like, in your browser? That's cool. I didn't know you could do that. Discord is a whole, is a strange new world for me. I'm still, I'm still learning it. Whoa! Black Panther! Oh, no, it's like, yeah, yeah, Ted, I hear you loud and clear. 
Yeah, so far so good, man. Yep. You're golden. Yeah, groovy, man. Oh, shit. Why does this Cerberus make cat noises? <laughs> Konami, learn anything about Greek mythology, you fucks. No. No, sir. Yeah, he's public, he's public domain. Well, now there's... <laughs> well, he's making jaguar noises, which, like, I respect for the ludicrousness, but... I would almost chalk, I would, I would be willing to chalk it up to a, a bored artist or programmer being like, I don't want to just make a dog. Can I make it a cool panther? And the higher ups are like, yeah, man, you can make it a cool panther. That's okay. And I like that. I like, it's like, um, when playing Kid Icarus, there's all these weird anachronisms and things that just are so far from anything in Greek mythology that at first I was like, oh, come on, be be more accurate to the shit. But then after a while, like, it has a charm of its own. It makes it, like, a weird, unique thing, and I'm, I'm good with it. Right, right, exactly. And I think that was, that was part of me being okay with it. Oh. Uh, see, Nor Norse... <laughs> right, right, no... Thor 3 looks fucking rad, so I, I don't care. I don't care about whatever liberties they took. I'm so jazzed for that movie. Yeah, no, that's a, that is a downside. I agree with that. Hell yeah, there's a Jeff Goldblum and some Hulk. Mmm, you get that Hulk action. <laughs> okay, it's not that stilted. Jeff Goldblum's great. You got Jeff Goldblum in Thor 3, you got Hulk in Thor 3, you got Taika Waititi's, uh, like, crazy dry humor all over it. I'm, I'm fucking jazzed. Not that I know of, not that I've seen, even, even when he was just like a street punk in one of the Death Wishes, he was great. If it, was it the first one? Oh, I didn't see that. Well, I mean, think of the movie around it. It's, you know, I don't think that was anybody's finest hour. Right. Yep, those those are two different things, absolutely. Yeah, Jeff, Jeffy G is the man. Big fan. And he's one of those dudes that literally just, at least, well, never mind. I was gonna, I was gonna say he always just plays himself, but he makes it work. But, like, thinking about him in The Fly, that wasn't just Jeff Goldblum. That was, that was a character. Or at least, a, or at least, I, yeah, that, to me, that wasn't just Jeff Goldblum. So, yeah, he rules. I'm a, I'm a big fan. Yeah, yeah, The Fly was pretty early for him. Which, yeah, which might be why he's not just uh, Jeff Goldblum. Dr. Jeff Goldblum. Chris, I didn't, I didn't know Chris Pratt was in her. That's wild. He was also in, he has a small part in Wanted. If you've ever seen that gif of James McAvoy bashing him in the face with a keyboard, it's pretty funny. I saw Transylvania 6 5000 way back in the day when Comedy Central played it nonstop. And that gave me some thoughts about Gina Davis. Holy shit. Yeah. Yep. In, uh, in, it would have been like the mid nineties when I was in like sixth or seventh grade, they played it pretty regularly. Oh yeah. That's man. That's a movie I haven't thought about in a long time. That's, that's wild. That's one of those movies that I don't think I ever saw it start to finish. I just, I saw the pieces of it out of order and it, and they all overlap. So technically I've seen the whole movie, but never all at once. Yeah. Yep. Zegra style. I've seen the whole thing, just never together. <laughs> all right. All right. Let's take on this Puma Cerberus. 
Puma Briss. <laughs> I love it. I love that the fire changes to this ghostly smoke. All right, we got the axe. Maybe not the best one. Oh, I want to see what the super attack is with the axe. Wow. Kio. Oh man, see that's the thing. That's the weird thing about Discord is that it's it, it you know it doesn't lag behind like the video does. And I don't I don't know of an elegant solution for that. <laughs> that's that is a, an absolute possibility. Kio. <laughs> <laughs> I'll... Yeah, no, the supers are sweet. Damn it. Oh, I wish I had I wish I could see his health bar to see how far I was. <laughs> uh the the original Castlevania did it, so I think these guys could pull it off. <laughs> okay. Okay, Riccio, it's beyond their pay grade. Okay. I would like to try my luck at Twin Bellows. I can take him. I should stream Kid Icarus. I can actually beat... Yeah! I've beaten Kid Icarus. Absolutely. That's a hard-ass game, too. Granted, it's been a while since I beat it, but I did beat it. I might have beaten it with save states, but I did beat it. <laughs> I love that one. Oh yeah. There you go. Oh, dude, I get stuck a lot. I'll I'll be I'm going to own up to that. Like and I'll if I get stuck, I'll I'll sit there and like try as much shit I can think of, but a lot of games there comes a point where I'm like, I don't know, man. I just don't know. And I just I miss stuff easily. I don't know. I Yeah. <laughs> I believe it, dude. Those old games are fucking rough, man. And <laughs> noise. Now uh Simon's Quest, is that the one where you can play as like four different characters or is that 3? Three? 3. Okay, I get those two mixed up cuz I for whatever reason I didn't I never got around to playing two and three. I, oh no, I, why not two? Cause now, oh shit. Which, which one has the, the strong RPG elements? I think I asked this last time too, but one of them you like, well, no, no, no. There was an NES one that has like villagers you can talk to and stuff and they'll like, that Simon's Quest. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. So uh, now I get where Ricky was coming from. I'm going to play it someday. This this is a franchise I would like to know better. And so I will eventually. I don't know when. Right. Yeah. That's. I remember, I remember hearing that. That some of the villagers just talk total bullshit. Which is amazing. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's right. He, uh. Right, it was it was pointlessly realistic. Cause yeah, in the real world, not everybody will be honest with you, and so like I respect that. Oh sure, absolutely. No, that's true. There's definitely I I think there's a absolutely a cynical reason behind that too. But I like I like what the programmer said. Like I th I think I think it's a little bit of column A and column B. Yeah, that pads out the game's running time, but also that's just how fucking life is. People will bullshit you. <laughs> in, in, your, in your Dracula slaying game. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, Knack. Oh, that's some donkey stuff. I know, I know why you're bringing up Knack. I saw that video. Dun donkey's good. I like... I like that dude shit. He, especially, oh, uh, Ricky, I think we were talking about him on a previous stream. He's, he's good because he, he puts on like the, the just almost nonsensical character, but then he will walk it back just enough to like, to point out like some really, some really smart, uh, critiques and stuff. 
And so it's kind of a best of both worlds scenario. Fuck you! Use this! Damn! Yeah. Yeah, his his stuff is all really short, too. Like, I love I love that Red Red Letter Media is all long form, but it's nice to have something that you can watch in five minutes. And still get the gist. I cannot beat this Puma. I I can't give you the controller, Riccio. It doesn't work like that yet. I don't have I don't have Discord Prime. This is a fucking this is a good game. I don't even know what you're talking about. Castlevania's quality. I know I need to get good. No, that's that's the goal for tonight. If I if I beat this guy, I feel like I will have done something worthwhile. I know, I know, I'm losing to Cat Burris, but you know. Wait, the the remake or the the OG? Now, here's the thing. If <laughs> I have to, I'm sorry, guys. I have to be a total fucking nerd. There was a two-headed dog in Greek mythology called Orthrus. There we go. Bang, 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 bang. Whatever, dude. Greek, Greek mythology was one of the best eras for monsters. Right, right. Well, that's that's too bad because they they would have earned a lot of nerd cred if they if they named it right. Well, well, Swamp Dog. No, so long and thanks for all the fish is a Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy reference. She's not a monster. <laughs> the funniest joke ever. I love I love Castlevania Mermen because that is just a fucking fish with legs. That is a beautiful character design. Yay! She's just text, I think. Oh. Ah! Fuck and fuck! Good. Lurk it up. Of Dwayne Johnson? Understandable. That's a that is a specimen. Hey, man, whatever you got to say to justify it, go nuts. Yeah, he is, he is an incredible man. I think it looks funny. I don't give a shit. Fuck, how do you get through that? That's impossible. No, Jumanji looks fun. I don't care what anybody says. Like, I'm not saying it looks good. I'm not saying it looks like the best movie in the world. But, like, Sunday afternoon that thing comes on HBO, you better believe I'd sit down and watch that shit. It looks funny. I never saw it. I'd give it a look. Yeah. I like... No, no, I get what you're saying. <laughs> there's room, yeah, there's room for all things. Yeah, no, I, I I get what Ricky was saying. So like, there's a certain there's like a difference. There's a difference between like, I can't even. We are all ages, but no, that's like, I can't think. I see. I I. Yeah, there's a there's a quality jump. I, I, I get what I get what you're saying Ricky there's there's a difference between like this is a family feature made for a family and then it tends to not be that great there's a difference between that and just like this is a general audience movie so like like for some reason honey I shrunk the kids jumps to mind is something that like is is all ages and it's fucking awesome but you know it is it is truly family friendly and I, and I would always go for that over something like yeah Alvin and the Chipmunks there's like a, I think, you know what I think it is, is the difference between 
a family or general audience film versus a uh, a kids movie. Like you'll see, and you know, there's no video stores anymore. But when you used to have video stores, some place some places would have a kids section and like a family section, and that's I think that's the weird invisible line there. I think it's a quality line. Oh yeah, that's interesting. That makes sense though. Oh, yeah? Well, yeah, because special effects is a genre. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> he has movies. Right. Right. Like your rated R stuff. <laughs> that kind of makes sense. Why not? That's your pornog. Yeah, hentai is your pornog. Full stop. Not that was the the only <laughs> the only time hentai ever seemed cool to me was when I can't remember what the video was, but some there was an interview with Samuel L. Jackson, and and it, it, they were like user submitted questions, and one of them was like, "Hey, do you like anime?" And Samuel L. Jackson just goes, yeah, I like anime, hentai too. <laughs> I'm like, fucking awesome. That's the coolest thing anyone's ever said. Ooh. A new Pearson. Well, it's... Mine says it's reconnecting. I'm a little not loving the, uh, the Samsung version of Twitch. No, not that I know of. Hey, what's up, Henshin Trek? Sorry, I can't see you. If you're talking in the Twitch chat, I'm sorry I can't see what you're saying. My my work phone is not very cool. I guess. I guess that's what. I guess I shouldn't advertise to the world. I'm using my work phone for Twitch. That might not be a smart thing to do, but I'm not like a genius. So. <laughs> oh no! Oh yeah! I almost, man, I almost want to, um, because I could still hear you guys in Discord if I open up Twitch. I'm going to open up Twitch on my phone. Well, on my other phone. It's open on a phone. <sighs> 2017. I'm a drug dealer, Ted. I have a hundred phones. <laughs> I am a crack dealer, okay? So I have 40 phones. No joke. I've got three more phones in my car. Well, they're old. They're old and busted. The three. So I have my phone. I have a phone for work because we moved to like a mobile office kind of setup. And then my three, the three in my car are, are old and busted. I'm, I'm, I'm going to recycle them because they are ancient. You know what? Hey man, let's work something out off, off, uh, off stream then. Cause I will, I will totally shoot you one. If, if that, I don't know if you, if it's useful to you. Um, like if you're looking to get away from landline only. Yeah. Oh, sure. J well, like, uh, like if your car breaks down or something, right? Like it's good to have a phone on you. Yeah. That was, I mean, that. Yeah. Ted sell free. Um, yeah, man. Like. I've got an iPhone. One of the one of the old busted ones I'm gonna recycle is an iPhone. I think five, but the screen's all cracked up. Um, so I, I don't know if you'd want that. And then the other two are pre-smartphone. They're uh, they have the, like the physical keyboard. I don't know if anybody remembers that. I loved those. They like the slide-out keyboard. So good for texting. Mmm. Yeah. Those were the. Right. <laughs> the low, low price. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, you make it a communicator. Flip phones were sweet. Those were, those were, those were classic, man. Really? That's cool. 
I think that's a smart call. Especially for, I don't think, you see these like five-year-olds and they've got a fucking iPhone a million. And it's like, why? You're a baby. You don't need that. Yeah. Right. And I don't know. I see both sides of that. Right. Right. I mean, it's good to get technology in front of your kid at an early age because that's, that's the world we live in now and it gives them a leg up. Uh, in life, but I don't know. Those, and you know what? Actually, most of the time anymore, when I see a little tiny kid with a phone or an iPad, they're like they're watching videos or playing games, which that makes sense. They're not they're not making drug dealers or whatever. That's that's true. That's true. They're uh, they're they're running up their parents' credit card with uh, I don't know Angry Birds bucks. Minecraft dollars? I don't know. What do kids do? <laughs> yeah, oh, God. Every, every... Oh, Bitcoins. Dude, Bitcoins took off. Like, last I checked, a Bitcoin is around a thousand bucks. So I'm, like, kicking myself pretty bad to not... Right! It's crazy! Because it's working. It's a... It, the cryptocurrency thing took off. I mean, assu and I mean, I can only assume the worst, unfortunately, that it's for, you know, dark web drug deals and weird shit. But still, man, if, if, if we had gotten in on the ground floor on that, we'd be rolling in them bucks. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, there's no what, Arikio? There's no goal to our currency? Oh boy. Oh yeah, yeah, we need to be the gold standard or whatever. Ah, oh, like Goldar from Power Rangers? <laughs> there yeah, I don't think there is one of those. There is Dogecoin. I think it is Doge, isn't it? I always wanted it to be Doge. I think Doge is funnier. Gonna be honest. Um it is still a great that's uh, that's a that's a classic May May though. I love I'm not even going to say it doge. I'm going to keep saying dog. I know it's meme. I just like to, I don't know, memes. You know, we used to call memes jokes. <laughs> that used to be the word for memes. It used to just be a fucking joke. But no, it's not, <laughs> that's not futuristic enough. So. I don't think there's anything I don't think there's anything wrong with with a good meme I as much as I talk shit about memes like there's plenty that I love like doge um it's just a different oh come on is it it's a cute dog at least it gets you a cute dog <laughs> right <laughs> right no well that's I mean that's the thing that I think that's what sets memes apart from a classic joke is that it's it's just something quick that you can throw together and like the inherent sloppiness is part of what makes it funny. Um, or at least in, in my book. I, I, you know, I think there's room for both. But it just, it is getting a little crazy. Like, every fucking thing gets called a meme now. And it's like, well, just because it was a picture on the internet doesn't mean it has to be a meme. Fuck. Nice! Oh, reaction gifts are gold. I love those. I gotta use this. Speaking of, what, what about reaction gifts, Riccio? Oh, Jesus. Well, the phrase digital blackface is pretty upsetting from the get-go. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, that's that's a little out there. I think Yeah, yeah. No, there's I think there are that's I think that's going to be a purely situational thing. And it'll and I think I think the context will make it very clear what the intent was. That's that's a weird one though. That's not what that didn't go the where I expected it to, which is maybe a good thing. Because when you... The phrase digital blackface uh, takes me somewhere very unpleasant. So yeah, if, if you weren't on the Discord, apparently digital blackface is uh, a reaction gif 
Uh, if, anytime a, right, anytime a white person uses a reaction gif of a black uh, actor or comedian, which I could see, I could see situations where it is digital blackface, but it, your context will give that away immediately. If you're on, if you're on uh, Nazis.org or whatever, yeah, that's probably the case. But I think everybody else who's just like, I like this comedian, it's probably not digital blackface. You have to, man, you can't just throw that around. You have to, you, you gotta take the history of that into account. That's not something to, that's not something to throw around lightly. Yeah. Good. Sorry, I uh, taken in input from a lot of different sources. We got a new litter box for Hobbs. We got a new litter box <laughs> no, right. For Hobbs. We got a new litter box for Hobbs yeah. because um, since we moved, our, gonna, we had to uh, we had to put his litter box closer to where the living room is, yeah. which Hobbs takes big man dumps, so that's a problem for him to have his big man turds right next to our couch. Um, so to combat that, we got a litter box, the type, man, I'm bad at fighting these guys. Uh, the litter box that has like the lid on it and the little door for him to pass through. And he was very not okay with it at yeah. first. Yeah. So we were worried he was just going to shit next to it. Yeah. So then we took the top off and he started using that. Uh, and then after we, uh, after a couple days of him using the litter box with the top off, we put the top on today yeah. as an experiment. And it just, just, just told me that the experiment was a success. Yeah, he peed in there. So good job, Hobbs. You peed in the right place. Cats are great, Riccio. So, uh, take a chill pill, my man. Not always. You gotta do, uh, that's a falsehood. You gotta train them first rigorously. It's like having a kid. Whereas cats, cats will just do their biz in that box. You don't even have to take them outside. Uh, well, Hobbs is a good cat. He doesn't scratch furniture either. Maybe, maybe you shouldn't judge all cats based on the trash cats you've been hanging around. He's certainly not a dog. He's got a curly tail and his back legs point out. Yeah, he's not a sh You've seen him. He's a fat little boy. He's a sweet, fat prince. Shit. Well, he's a cat. He does whatever he wants. I can't... Like a dog, I could call him in. That, that's such a weird sentence. <laughs> They're both great. There's room for both. That's been the last... The give, him give him a treat for being a good boy. Excellent call, Jess. No, man, the last, like, ten years of my life have just been learning and relearning that there's room for everything. You can like cats. You can like dogs. You can like both. You can like neither. Doesn't matter. As long as you're not a dick about it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wallham. I am here. Yeah. Oh, it went away. Fucking eyeball man stole my Wallham. Oh, good. Let's fight a boss with no health. Excellent. Ooh, wall lasagna. <laughs> that's, the, that's the Garfield Castlevania crossover. Did you guys see the Garfield comic I posted today where, where John Arbuckle drank dog cum? That's a real comic from 1990. <laughs> Oh, Riccio, you gotta you gotta get that joke action happening, my man. Uh, mm, see, the bones of the joke are there, but uh, <laughs> all right. If you say if you say so, Buster. What did you obtain today, Ted? No, shit, you got Kazilla? That's amazing. Riccio, do you know about Kazilla? Wait a minute, I'm, I'm all about it. Like, I mean, okay, so Kazilla is, and, and Ted, maybe help me fill in the blanks, because I'll probably get a bunch of stuff wrong. It's an Italian 
colorization of the original Godzilla that came out in the mid 70s and it's a real weird colorization job like it's more like just a 77 okay and when you think of a colorization you think of like the really the really painstakingly done ones where they like painted each frame like a like a painting and this is more like they picked a few colors and kind of put them in scenes yeah yeah it's like a gel over it exactly C O Z Z I L L A. Right. Right. Cause yep, yeah, exactly. Cause is just the, the nickname. Yeah, it is weird. It's strange. Yeah. Be a whole movie. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> right. Right. That, that's a movie that doesn't, really call for color <laughs> oh dude that's that that's that italian edge man they they make movies fucking crazy <laughs> yeah yep it's the italian snuff film godzilla <laughs> yeah Oh, sure. Yeah, that well, that's kind of an oddity. That's probably, that was probably uh, pretty tricky to come by, right? Right. Right. Yeah, no, they don't want that getting out. That's cool, man. Good find. Oh, really? Yeah, to man, Toho is, is for real. They, they do not play when it comes to uh, their legal shit. Those dudes. But they have to be. I, I We kind of, in talking about uh, Sylvester Stallone and his quest for his $25 million, if you let one thing, if you let one thing slide, then fucking everything's going to try and slide. So I, I get why they're such boners about everything. Yeah. Oh, oh man, I believe it. But that's every so many so many like uh, people that aren't fans just kind of assume since it's since it's an old monster they they assume oh it must be public domain we can just use that it's like fuck no dude that's their bread and butter man you can't take that away yeah yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's the thing any anything that's even remotely godzilla ish they would go after that's true well ted i mean ted you've told me a little bit about the the weird world of uh toho versus subaraya when it comes to reusing assets Cause that's a whole that's a whole crazy thing unto itself. I'm so bad at fighting these guys. Yeah. Right, I made this shit. This is mine. So I'm gonna use it. Yeah, hell yeah, man, I get it. I get both that's a weird one, because I get both sides of that. Cause like I and I hate to side with a big soulless corporation but it's like it's their shit man you like you made it but you made it for them so like i i mean but of course i'm gonna side with subarai he's the man right exactly no berugan is uh that's that's some gamera stuff which is oh uh, uh, he bone ejaculated Isn't it? <laughs> it's because Japan loves Baragon, right? So they wanted to tap into that. Like, he has like a cult following over there, doesn't he? Okay, I thought he did. I thought that, I, I legit thought that was at least part of why the Gamera guys were like, yeah, man, we have a Baragon. <laughs> okay. All right. Which, which makes sense. 
Oh yeah. Speaking of fishmen, did we have we talked about? Oh god, have we talked about uh, the Guillermo del Toro? Yeah, I'm psyched about that. But I, I'm, yeah. It is. It is. I mean, it. it you know, and I think part of uh, part of the problem people had with the. Uh, <laughs> the problem people had with uh, Crimson Peak was that it was advertised as a horror movie and it was more like a horror-ish romance. Uh, so I'm glad I'm glad Shape of Water, they're pretty upfront about like, well, it's a romance and it's weird. And Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. No, that was <laughs> it was intense. That was that was a that was a fucking wild movie. It was good though. I I'm sad that that uh wasn't a bigger hit, but yeah, oh yeah, it's a bummer. It's a bummer, but that's like stories in that time, and <laughs> oh man, good on you. I I. I, I Frankenstein was unrelated, right? <laughs> no, you don't. You don't, Riccio. We don't need the jizz joke from the mummy anymore. No. Oh, God. And Tom Cruise says that, right? I feel like... Do you think maybe he ad-libbed that? And they're like, oh, that's great, Tom. Oh, okay. Hell yeah! Yeah, but no. I mean, yeah. It's, yes, Top Gun is homoerotic. We know. But, like, he's a good fucking actor, man. When he's trying, I... And actually, if you want if you want good acting and homoeroticism, fucking Interview with a Vampire rules. Ah, oh, fuck, I wasn't paying attention. I got so hyped up about Interview with a Vampire, I stopped paying attention. That's a great fucking movie, though, man. Everybody turns in good performances. That's the best thing uh, the Potato Face Girl ever did. Uh, Kirsten Dunst. Kirsten Dunst. As the, as the vamp kid, man, she kills it. I think I think she grew up to be a little potato faced. That might that I, I that's sounding harsh as I'm saying it. <laughs> yeah, right. And she's kind of potatoey in the Spider Man's, right? I I felt that she was. <laughs> no, no, no. She just has sort of a lumpy face. That's all it is. Yeah, I, I'm I'm realizing that potato face is too harsh. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen that one. He's good though. He's a good fucking actor, man. Like Yep. He's good in Rain Man, absolutely. Yeah, before his before his mind went. He was a very good actor. <laughs> yes, oh my god. That's a whole fucking can of worms. Oh, Riccio, no. <laughs> Don't, don't say anything good about Scientometry. Oh my god. I know, it's... <laughs> oh, that's such a good episode. That is... I, the last season of South Park kind of lost me. Oh shit, it happened again. It glitches out when I walk to the edge. And prevents me from jumping. It's the game's fault, not mine. Said, said everyone ever. That's a, you guys believe that, right? It's the, I know, Riccio. Castlevania's tough. He did sue them in England? <laughs> That's amazing. So, Riccio, there's an excellent, fuck, man. There, there is, there's, it stutters when I get to that edge. That's really weird. Uh, Tom Cruise sued Trey Parker and Matt Stone in England for the uh, In the Closet episode 
of South Park where they took a huge, powerful dump on Scientology. And it's it's one of the best pieces of... Tom Cruise? Yeah. Right. Yep, I'll sue your ass and your balls. Oh, yeah? I'll sue you in England. It's so good. It's one of the best episodes they've ever done. 100%. That's a fucking classic. Oh, yeah. I remember that. There was, there was like, a moratorium on it. And it, 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 uh, they lifted it, like, uh, like, a year or two later. But still, that was, that was wild. I, like I said, the last season or two, they kind of lost me. But, uh... Their good stuff is so fucking good, man. When they're That's 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 what I've been hearing and and I should I should give it a watch and I just I just haven't yet. I'm psyched about um what fractured butthole. Yeah. What, Jess? What haven't you watched? Yeah. Yep, yep. That's that's when South Park's at its best, when it can just do self contained stories. Uh, debatable. I mean, I think I think the the serialized stuff works really well for dramas. Um, and if you have like, you have to have a uh, a big vision for your show too. Like uh, we're Jess and I are watching Star Trek: Deep Space Nine, and it's oh, not wow. it's not fully serialized like uh, like a Breaking Bad or anything like that. But it's it's way more serialized than Next Generation and. You can kind of tell they have like a an overarching vision for it, so it it works. There's there's definitely there's there's been things they've been building to since the since the pilot, and it's it's exciting. It's a, it is a it's a different show though. There's definitely things that I I love about it, but there's things that I you know prefer TNG for. But yeah, fracture butthole. I definitely want to pick up at some point. Into a game, absolutely. What was that, Jess? What were you saying though that you haven't watched? The new season of South Park. Oh yeah, I, I eventually. Yeah, we'll we'll get to it someday. T TV and video games are in the same place now, where there's a million of them that are like, I would like to get to at some point, and it's just, it's so much content. Cause like, there's also a lot of movies, but a movie is two hours and then you're done. A TV show or a video game is going to be a minimum of like 10 hours. It's like, I don't have, I don't have 10 hours in a day. Yes, I do. But <laughs> How are you doing? Yes, absolutely. I love the South Park movie. Your mom snuck you into that theater. Oh, and, and so that's why it was bigger, longer, and uncut. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh, do you have audio of someone? Yeah. Yeah, that's so weird. You have, like, Jason goes to hell. Like, hell gets used constantly. Yep. They were just mad at South Park. He's not a Shibu Inu. He's a fat little cat. He's a precious baby boy. I mean, he, his curly tail is kind of Shibu Inu-ish, but he's a precious little fat baby boy. Okay, you're right. It's a cat. It's a dog. Total dog. Is this Rikio? It is Rikio. Ted's here, too. Hi, Ted. That's cool. Can you guys hear Jess? Because it's through the phone. Cool. Sorry. Why are you sorry? Cause it is all my fault. You shouldn't hear my voice. Yeah, right. Happy belated birthday, Ricky. Oh, yeah, Ricky. Oh, you had a birthday. Whatever, dude. Better late than never. We posted on your Facebook wall. That's the greatest gift of all. Yeah. <laughs> Don't even. <laughs> That's in the mail. Yeah, it's in the mail. Fuck. Fucking fish, man. Yeah. Ah, yeah. You know what old Jack Burton always says. Yeah. <laughs> Hell oh, yeah. Oh, well, oh, 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 oh,
Oh yeah, I can't I can't do a good enough John Wayne impression to do a no, good no. Jack Burton it's impression. It's not even a John Wayne impression. It is a Kurt Russell impression of John Wayne. Well, yeah, but that's yeah, he's doing a John Wayne impression. Yeah, though. but it's still you have it's to do Kurt Russell doing. Yeah. Big Trouble in Little China, Riccio. If you haven't seen that movie, my friend, you got to. You gotta. It's so good. What I mean, what two movies did you watch, Riccio? Was it Land Before Time 1 and Land Before Time 2? Oh, those are both great. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. It is, it is, it's a, oh man, it's a fun one though. That's a great flick. I think that makes perfect sense. I think he's absolutely right about that. It's a very good movie. And nobody Uh, does. It's right there in the title, Riccio. It's about big <laughs> trouble in little China. It's oh, not... Yeah. Um, it's... It's uh, not big China. Black Chinese magic. Yeah, like Chinatown. Yeah. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. Chinese black magic. Yeah, Chinese black magic. Not black Chinese magic. That has an entirely <laughs> different connotation. <laughs> yeah. 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 Don't question John Carpenter, okay, Riccio? <laughs> I mean, I mean, the thing is great, but it's no big trouble in Little China. The thing is, you got to see both. Best horror movie. <laughs> the thing of, of all it. Time. Yeah, the thing might be the best horror movie ever made. Well, Alien, Alien. Alien. Oh, it's up there. For me, Alien's excellent. Jaws, Jaws is a 4th of July movie. Yeah. Oh, boy. It is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Riccio was going off on poor old Bruce uh, a stream or two ago, and it's like, yeah, no. You're, you're on your own on that one, pal. We love Bruce here. We do love Bruce He's here. He's a good boy. I hate these fucking guys. I can't fight them very well. It's okay, Matt. You're doing your best. It's subjective. It's subjective. You can't prove it, man. General. Oh, oh, okay. I thought you were, I thought you were saying, like, look at someone named General. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I th oh, I used to sing that all the time. See, that doesn't that doesn't look derpy to me. That looks like a shark. Let me see. Well, but <laughs> hey, man, I I I hear you. Hey, that's well, it's. Hey, that's all sub- No, man. No. The thing- I love the thing. This- <sighs> Oh, man. No, I'm wait, crazy man. about the thing. That's that is my fucking jam. That's that's for sure. If it's not my number one horror movie, it's top five. Easy breeze. It's my second favorite horror movie of all time. Fucking fish! I hate them fish. Ted, what? Come on. all right, Ted. Everyone's saying crazy things right now. Wait, what movie did you say? Tango and Cash. Oh my gosh. That's that, not. That that should have been great. My VCR ate that tape, and I am so and happy it did. <laughs> we were okay with it. We're like, all right. This is fine. That was terrible. That's a terrible movie. Yeah, no, I, I, and I, I'm on board with that. I'm on board with if you like Jaws better. These are all excellent movies. Not um, Tango and Cash. Not Tango and Cash, though. <laughs> it, it's not as fun as okay. I wanted it to be, you know, though. You know what's fun, though, about it is when uh, Sylvester Stallone says, hey. Who is this guy I think he is, Rambo? <laughs> yep. Um, I think Stallone says that. Oh, that's right. Oh, You're okay. right. You're right. I'm sorry. So something even more ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's a monster truck in that, right? 
Who's good thinking he's Rambo? That would have been funnier. The the monster truck is pretty good. I don't know. There's there's all the parts there for like a fucking jam of a movie, and it just doesn't. I don't know. It doesn't come together or something. Okay. Yeah. No, that'll hurt your movie. <laughs> that, that doesn't do you any favors. Movie by movie by committee. Yeah. Who did? Nice. Of course. Yeah. No, no, dude. Stallone is a big meathead, but like he fucking wrote Rocky. Like he's he's smarter he's than he gets favorite. credit for. Yeah. Yeah, Rocky Balboa was good. Uh yeah. He's a smart dude. I he sounds really dumb and he, you know, he's Oh, I didn't know that. Palsy? Oh shit. Oh no. Whoa, oh. holy shit. I didn't know that. Wow. And he's also the Italian stallion. He is the Italian stallion, true enough. Okay. Yeah, Frank Frank has a palsy though, right? Like a cerebral palsy? No, I think he's I think he's straight up. I think he's normal. I mean, normal sounds mean. No, I know I mean, yeah, but I think he, I think he has a, a slight I thought I did. Maybe I have to look this up. I was the, I haven't I I know Frank Stallone's name. I don't think I've ever seen him. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's I been know, a while. I know what you guys are talking about. I I know who <laughs> Okay. What? We're talking about Frank Stallone, not yeah, Sylvester. I okay. know. <laughs> okay. All right. What? Oh, it the man, isn't it? One? Isn't it though? <laughs> that's wild. Oh, wow. That's that's so uh, poetic somehow. So what came out before yeah. that? Because eighty nine, eighty nine had a lot of great movies. Eighty nine had a ton of shit. You got Batman. You got Ghostbusters two. You got Last Crusade. License to kill. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> see that fucking jump. Mm. These jumps, these evil jumps. <sighs> yeah. Oh, uh, we were just talking about that movie. Yeah, we need to watch. We need to watch Takes Manhattan sometime soon. If not, can we at least watch the last 15 minutes? I mean, that's the best part. Yeah, we oh, we should. That would be, would you... Would you be into that, Jess? Doing uh, like a group viewing of something? Ah, uh, yeah. I think that'd be cool. Actually, we Ross, should put that together. Ross proposed to me. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll try it out. I would love that. Yeah, we got to experience. Fuck you, we fish. All, we all talk too much. Let's all talk together. <laughs> We've all seen it. Yeah. Well, Jason takes Manhattan would be a good one. Oh, Ricky has never seen any of the you, Jason. Yeah, Ricky has never seen any of the Jason stuff. I mean, yeah, Ricky only watches Land Before Time. <laughs> Ricky, Ricky is the king of the Land Before Time. Oh no! Oh, will you sing it for me? Oh, you're gonna make me cry. <laughs> oh no! No! <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> Me. Yep, it's over. It's all ogre now. <laughs> yep. Oh, now with Jason? Jason goes to hell? That movie's pretty misleading because... He doesn't go to it, hell. Yeah, yeah. It, like, at the very end, yeah. As a kid, as a kid, I did, so I didn't, I didn't, I didn't see any Jason movies until I was a, in, until I was a man. <laughs> um, and, uh, so as a kid, though, I would see the box for Jason Goes to Hell, and it was that awesome Im embossed, you know, like, three-dimensional box art and of his fucking scary mask and the flames of hell. And so I'm like, so Jason Goes to Hell, huh? And in my kid brain, I was like, so is this just, like, 
his adventures in hell. And I, there's this weird movie in my brain of him just like slicing up demons and shit. And I'm like, well, that sounds awesome, but it doesn't sound very scary. And then it wasn't that. He was like a weird body hopping worm. It would be Ghost Rider, yeah. For real. Or Spawn. Yeah! He's kind of a victim! Like... He is. <laughs> yeah, he never gets there. Bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> yep. Gareth Edwards strikes again. When will he let us be free? <laughs> It'd be a better movie. <laughs> right, right. It would have actually... Right, something something would have worked or made sense if, if Edwards did it. Maybe not everything, but fucking something would have. Oh my god, it's so weird. It's so what? weird. The, yeah, the development for that movie is ridiculous. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, cause cause the dude who made it was like, I don't want to make a Jason movie. It's like, oh, this is off to a great start. Oh, that's not that's <laughs> That's who you want making your fucking Jason that movie. That's like Halloween three. It is like Halloween three. Oh, I mean, no, Halloween it's cool. It has I, an incredible soundtrack. I, it has a fantastic soundtrack, and it's a fun movie, but... It has Dr. Sex Doctor. It has Doc... Detective... Doctor... Wait. We came up with a dumb name for yeah. him, because he was a doctor, doctor and a detective, detective, and he just fucked constantly. Yeah, yeah. So I think it was Dr. Sex Dective. Yeah, yeah. I think is what we came up I, with. Something like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yep, he's... Oh, boy. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, sexy detective or oh, something. I love hearing you guys. It's it's a trip. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Right. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. I had to heard about that. That's crazy. Jason's the man. What the fuck, Sean? <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh. Yep. Yeah. So he's forever butthurt that somebody else is. Oh, sure. Right. Yeah. He probably doesn't carry that with him now. Oh, he might. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Make it right. You have to, dude. I, I wonder about that all the time because, you know, there are suits, like, sitting around, like, Okay, guys, when are we going to get Chucky and the Leprechaun together? Suits? I say that every time we watch a Chucky or Leprechaun movie. I'm like, where the fuck is this crossover at? Yeah. That should have right? happened years like, ago. That's the thing. Like, you know that, the, that these suits are sitting next to each other like, hey, guys, come on. New new line. Yeah, new dude. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, like, that's why we're getting those. That's why we're getting those monster, the the Universal monster movies that they can't seem to figure out. Or a Jumanji movie that has nothing to do with Jumanji. A Jumanji yeah. sequel that's not called Tumanji. Uh, Fuck you, Hollywood. Yeah. That's bullshit. Be. Yeah. Or it's a reboot. Who it, knows? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever it is, it is a second Jumanji. Well, it's a magical board game. They make a joke about magnets. They do. <laughs> it is funny. <laughs> I have not. I'm not familiar with that. I one. haven't either. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Of course. 
Yeah. Ah, do that. Uh -oh. What kill is it? Oh yeah, man. Oh yeah, I'm. Oh I. Well, yeah. As soon as as soon as I know it's an Italian movie, I'm like, oh okay, yeah. That's gonna be way the fuck gory. I haven't seen. That's a that's a blind spot for me. The Italian horror stuff. I think, Jess. I think all yeah. we've seen is is. Uh, well, that's the band. Suspiria. Yeah, Suspiria. I think is the only one we've seen. And I. I mean, it was really. It was very like visually stunning, but. I wasn't crazy about no, it. It was boring. It was kind of, yeah, it was such a slow burn. And it. Sure. Oh, yeah. Stylistically, it was, it was very. And well it was, done. yeah, it was, yeah, it was amazing yeah. to look at. Right. Yeah, that's true. Right. That's yeah. fucking true. I love a spaghetti western. Oh, uh, yeah, Troll 2. Troll 2 is not a spaghetti western. Oh, what are you talking about? By, it was written by Italians. It's, that doesn't make it a spaghetti western. Yeah. <laughs> spaghetti is awesome. I mean, pasta in general, I think, was a huge slam dunk. Mm. I think I think most folks will agree on that. Uh, I don't know, guys. I like Velveeta shells and cheese myself. That's, I mean, that's that's pasta. You're there. Come on, you don't like ravioli? A little lasagna? Of course. All right. I did not. Okay. No, yeah, like literally, I think Suspiria is the only one we've we've dipped into. Like, I, I definitely want to see all the zombie movies, Z O M B I. Um, oh yeah, <laughs> big swing and a miss on those. Yeah. Ah. Okay. I just know is it. Is it the first zombie that has a zombie versus a shark? That's pretty cool. Though I, I man, mixed feelings about because it's a live shark, and those those Italian flicks are okay oh, with fucking up no. animals. That's why I'm never. Yeah, fuck that. I oh, that's what's the one where they can't. <laughs> Ow. Ugh. Rikio. Oh, Rikio, you would love fucking King Dinosaur then, because yeah. it's got plenty of that. <laughs> Cause animal cruelty's fucked up. Is that a is that a prequel to Land Before Time? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> King Din No, we watched I think uh we saw the Mystery Science Theater of King we Dinosaur. Did. It was terrible. Terrible. What's the one where they eat the turtle? That's Cannibal Holocaust. Ooh. Yeah, I'm probably yeah, yeah, that's. I think I'm gonna just skip that forever. Yeah, yeah yep. They, yeah, they kill yeah. the cow. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm not wild about that. No, not cool with that. Yeah, right. They didn't right, and so that's. I think that's why I kind of gave it a pass. Okay. Because it's something that was just happening, so they pointed a camera at it. Yeah, I shouldn't so be. I shouldn't be too judgmental about that. Well, and but you know that's not the case with like Cannibal Holocaust. We're like, fuck it, let's kill this turtle. It's like, ooh. For the sake of film. Go ahead. No, what's that about? Holy shit! Are you kidding? What? Where did he get corpses? Why did Tom Savini have corpses? Corpses? Jesus Christ! I never would have. I never would have thought Tom Savini was bringing corpses. That's Why? insane. Well, he's he's the practicalist, practical effects man, I guess. Yeah. Well, that's like uh, that's like Poltergeist had the real skeletons. That was awesome. That it that is awesome. Terrifying. I'm okay. It's fucking. And that is probably why everyone who worked on that film is dead now. That's the source of the curse. Like except right. For, except for Coach. Yeah, yeah. Craig T. Nelson's cooking. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Still, that's not a great track record <laughs> to have only two. See, yeah. we haven't seen we yeah. haven't seen the pol or I haven't seen the Poltergeist sequels. Did you, Joss? Uh, yeah, we wa we watched the second one. We did. I thought we did. We watched. I think you part did. Or I, I think. 
I think you caught it when you were flying still. Oh, maybe. Wait, which one? I, you know, I haven't seen Did two. Did you see Exorcist 3? I was going to say, we've both seen 3. I own that one. Three's pretty decent. It's got, what is it, Dourif? Yeah. Brad Dourif. That, he, does, he has a really good performance Dourif, in it. The reason to own it is for Brad Dourif. He's an incredible actor. Yeah. He does a really good job. Oh, yeah? Yeah, <laughs> it's no, the I little agree. bit of the little bit of two I've seen is extremely weird. Three, three, and, and I'm gonna be honest. Three is not amazing. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I don't no, even want to re recommend it. But I it do had good parts. It. it had good parts. There was Brad definitely Dorif is amazing. D Dorif kills it, and there was a couple other scenes that were that were good and spooky. <laughs> oh, excuse me. You. Thank you. Um. Yeah. There was Jess three had some spooky nun shit, right? Wasn't there like a nun uh, yeah. on the ceiling or they something? They had some very subtle stuff. Yeah. Like I think it was kind of a slow Like background burn. kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, three three's decent. Yeah. Oh man, uh, I'm making I'm making progress, but not a ton. It's so good to talk with you guys. I'm I'm making progress. <laughs> Thank you for calling Matt out on stuff. I progressed to this point <laughs> and can't get past those fucking spear guys. Hey. That counts for something. I have a, I have a serious question. I think Bloodborne will make me... I think Bloodborne will make me want to kill myself. I played I, like five minutes of Dark Souls 2 and was like, no thanks. <laughs> Ugh. If you send me a question. copy, I'll play it. I have a serious question. Riccio, what did you do for your birthday? Oh, yeah. What did you do for your birthday, Riccio? Ah, oh, delightful. Classic student. <laughs> oh, I haven't done. What'd you get for a present? Yeah, did you get some presents? Oh, there we go. There it fucking is. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> Did you get any Land Before Time t shirts? <laughs> oh, so we gotta get we gotta get Ricky on yeah. eggs shirt yeah. is what that means. Oh Cool. I love Baby Driver. Have you seen Baby Driver? It's good. It's <laughs> <laughs> Baby Driver's tight. It was really good. It's not it's not my favorite Edgar Wright movie. I think that might still be hot fuzz, but it's it's good. Yeah. Oh, Attack the yeah. Block is sweet! Yeah. Attack the Block was great. Yeah, it is. Yeah, maybe. But it is. Did Edgar Wright direct that one? I thought it was just an an Edgar Wright style movie. I I didn't realize he did it. Okay. If I I thought so. I can't remember. No, oh, yeah, no. After um, at it's the time. end of at the end of Hot Fuzz, when they fight in the miniature city, I I desperately wanted that to be a hint that the third movie mm -hmm. in the Cornetto trilogy would be a giant monster yeah. movie, and then it wasn't. It was whatever uh, end of the world was, or world's end, which was oh, okay. Oh, that was okay. It I was didn't okay. Love it, though. Yeah, I wasn't crazy about it. Quit parrying my shit, you fuck! I hate these guys. Mm -hmm. That'd be amazing. No, no. Yeah, no. One, Edgar three. Edgar Wright should get the rights. <laughs> the Edgar Wrights. He, he should He's get. So funny. He should get the Edgar Wrights to like a more obscure one that he can do whatever he wants with. Might I suggest Specter Man or Zone Fighter? Oh, geez, yeah, Gamera would be amazing. Oh, well, no, Red Man's a slasher movie. <laughs> That's a fucking terrifying horror movie. 
I love you guys. I have to go away. It was really nice talking with you for the first time. I did see that. I'm excited about it. Jess, you taking off? Yeah. All right, Jess. Thanks for stopping in. Oh boy, Riccio's being super salt and pepper over here. What'd he say? <laughs> he yeah. just he's just talking shit. Cause that is the Riccio special is to talk I shit. I love when Riccio talks shit. Well, then you would have loved that. His tirade. Oh, I missed it. That's okay. There's always tomorrow. Oh yeah. Actually Ross was suggesting Next Friday, if it's possible, mm -hmm. streaming the Freddy game. Yeah, well, I I, I know Will kind of called dibs on the LJN NES games, which that's the company that made um, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. Be in on it. Okay. <laughs> yes, exactly. Ted. Excellent. Um, but yo, know, I I wanna I wanna. If if Will can do something, I I want to do the Freddy game with him because he's the he's the biggest Freddy fan I know. Yeah, absolutely. And I told Ross that, and he said, "Oh, that'd be awesome." But like, I mean, if you guys are hanging out, like, can he be a part of it? Yeah, absolutely. Either online, Everyone's either online or, or Super Apartment Friends is everything is open to everyone. I know. And that's I why know. we have four people right now, but except Nazis. Yeah, no Nazis. That's true. We were just talking about next Friday if it's possible. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll... Let's talk about it with Will. Yeah. And I think that's... Yeah, that'd be a great game. I... That'd be the perfect game to stream. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I, I would love to get that going. Um, but yeah, so tomorrow's going to be Silent Hill 3 with Ralph, a.k.a. Snake Piss. So I'm pretty psyched about that. Uh, we haven't nailed down a time yet, actually. Um... I have to work until 5, so it'd be sometime after 5. That's all I know. Cool. Yeah. I... That's another... That's another franchise that I have not... God, I hate these guys. Okay. I'm into that. Yeah, that's, that's a whole franchise I would love to dip into. That and, uh... Dead Space, I haven't really touched, and it seems awesome. Oh, you cut out for a sec. Well, I like, I like the, uh, the art design is really cool, though. I like, like, the dudes, yeah, the monsters are all really awesome, and just, uh, everything has kind of an event horizon-y kind of vibe to it, and I really dig that. Oh, yeah? I'm okay with jump scares if I feel like they earned them. Hell yeah. Yeah. The head in the boat, right? Or at least that's what I'm thinking of. Oh, yeah. That's a good one, too. Right. Yeah. No, yeah, the, a good jump scare to me is all about the correct amount of buildup. Um, the tension, right? Because it's almost like a jump scare is almost like the punchline to a joke. And the, the tension and the buildup before it is your setup. And if you don't do that stuff right, I mean, it's just like, a, it's just like shittily telling a joke. Like, it just doesn't work. Or, or, if, or if it does get a laugh, it's a cheap laugh. <laughs> yeah see i i haven't seen the remake and i after i saw uh i was gonna say based on everything i've heard and uh and just seeing what they did for freddy's face i'm like i think i'm good i think i'm all set i don't need to see that which is too bad because like jackie early haley's a good actor <laughs> you're like Yeah, no, I think you're right. I think it was one of those weird eras, kind of like, uh, I feel like the, the late 90s kind of ran into that too, like weird redesigns of stuff for no reason. I, 
I love Bear Croc too. I love that look. I was gonna say, like, Platinum Dunes did a bunch of them. Okay. Okay, I haven't seen that one. I'll have to check that out. And, you know, I actually liked, I liked the Amityville remake okay. And, but it, well, and it's, you know, it's, I haven't seen it since it came out. So I might feel very differently now. But at the time, I was like, this is fine. Ryan Reynolds. Oh, that's true. Yeah. He is an he's an extremely handsome man. So they they knew what they were doing, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, even when he's all Freddy Kruegered up, he's still a handsome dude. Well, no, no, he he wasn't actually Freddy Krueger. I just mean in in Deadpool when he's all nasty looking. I mean that's the character. <laughs> okay yes truly deadpool was worse than 98 godzilla absolutely i mean let's face it when it comes to deadpool movie adaptations the fucking uh, the mute teleporting naked man in whatever wolverine movie was that was a way better deadpool adaptation right no no sarcasm jesus christ sarcasm yeah no <laughs> yeah i mean it's it's a simple story right it's well, well, well sure if you but i mean if you boil any movie down to the barest essentials it's it it, it can sound overly simple yeah logan uh, if you boil that down to its barest essentials, it's a guy helps a young girl get to safety. No, Logan, Logan was fantastic. Yeah, Logan's excellent. I, but I, I think you could make a very strong argument for that. Absolutely. Um. That'd be cool. Oh. Oh no. That yeah. Yep. Or you do well just I mean not literally forget about them, but if 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 2014 was the Logan of Godzilla movies, that would have worked. I absolutely think that would have worked. Or you I mean you could still do that. Legendary could still do that after, you know, they do a couple movies and then Maybe they wait a couple years or or whatever and then pull it out. Bust that concept out. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I mean sometimes that plot works, like like GMK, and sometimes it's stupid, like in Ghostbusters 2. Don't care for that. We all forgot about that marshmallow, man. Fuck you. Not possible, you dicks. <laughs> right? <laughs> right. Though, I, I mean, and we talked about this last time. I have I have definitely softened on uh, my opinion on Ghostbusters 2. I used to be over-the-top angry about that movie, and now I, I recognize that it's it's just a mediocre sequel, and that's okay. The Scolari brothers are fucking sweet. Like, legit. Th those guys are awesome looking. And scary. They scared the shit out of me as a kiddo. That's, that's a good point. That is a good point. Yeah, the proton packs look weird. And I wonder if that was... Because one of my one of my standing beasts with Ghostbusters 2 is that they turned to the cartoon... Um, for too much inspiration, they because it's kind of sanitized, right? Like they don't smoke anymore, they don't drink anymore, they swear they swear way less, so they don't feel like blue collar ghost plumbers. They feel like 
you know, family friendly whatevers. So, uh, fucking Winston doesn't have a mustache anymore. That's a problem for me. No. No one said that. No one said that, Arikia. No one said anything about 16. I don't ever want to talk about it ever again. The 2016 Ghostbusters. I'm just, I'm ready for... Yeah, yeah, just as strange noises of disdain are, are exactly how I feel about that movie. Verbatim. Oh, I should have checked those candles. I'm such a misogynist. Yeah, Jess, you are the biggest misogynist I know, absolutely. This game is hard. This is a hard game. I don't think I'm getting past this bat guy tonight. I'll be honest, though. I know a lot of lines from Ghostbusters 2, and I kind of love Ghostbusters 2. Ghostbusters 2 is fine. It does. It has it has some great it has some legit great gags. They gave a lot of good one-liners to Egon. It's it's fine. Oh, you're not missing, you're not missing anything, Jess. Ted just, or, uh, Riccio just keeps talking about the 2016 one. And it's a Do travesty. Ray, Ray Egon. Egon. That's fantastic. That's just a good line. There's no, there's no two ways about it. I love that, again, late, later in <sighs> Yeah, Riccio, you gotta, you gotta, life, let, you gotta let this one go, Riccio. You gotta let this one go. Later in life, I... Again, like with uh, Caddyshack, how I appreciate Ted Knight. Oh, Ted Knight steals that movie. I kind of appreciate uh, the judge in Ghostbusters 2. Like, oh, just... oh the Scolari brothers! Well, I wouldn't, I don't know if I'd compare his performance to, because Ted Knight is he like a, a good job, comedian. Though. That judge is a great job. I mean, it's like, I don't know, it's like weird scenery chewing though. He doesn't have like good lines or anything. He's got some good lines like what he has... <laughs> yeah no he, he he's he's really hammy and weird but i wouldn't say he's good like ted knight's good not like ted knight is good but i have appreciated his performance not ted nugent jesus christ oh my god oh, he's one of the worst people in the world yeah, he, he's a pile of garbage for sure. You nailed it, Jess. That is absolutely correct. Oh, he's just super shitty constantly. Just look up anything he's ever said. Yeah. He makes, he makes like, butt rock and... Uh, Racism. Want, just constantly wanted to kill Obama for being black. It's really weird. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, and so in, in Kid Rock, I would put on about... Our future senator. Yeah. No. If that's I being... About a bang, bang, that's being bang, extremely bang. generous. Um, Matt, do you want to tell the story about your I Kid I sure Rock? will. So in the, in the early aughts, I was in high school, and as a uh, suburban white kid, that meant I was either into rap or new metal. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately for me, that meant I was into new metal. Uh, and so, if you would have gotten a rap at the time, you would have been awesome. Been on, yeah. Yeah. No. Rap, that that was rap the correct was good answer. Then. Yeah. Um, but anyway, I was into I was into new metal, so like I was listening to shit like Corn and Limp Biscuit. I was too. Right. I was a too. lot of people were. I'm not alone. Uh, but uh, so then MTV plays the Ba Wit Da Ba video by Kid Rock. And it's and it seems about on par with things like Corn and Limp Biscuit. So I'm like, okay, I like this song. I'm going to buy this I'll buy. I'll buy the whole album. And I put the album in and it's like shitty redneck rap. And so <laughs> after one listen, start to finish, I threw it in a garbage can. <laughs> and... <laughs> like the day I bought it. Okay, guys, and I've retconned this. Like the, every time oh, yeah. I hear this, story, you created a fanfic yeah, version. Yeah, I <laughs> I create this story where Matt just throws it out of a window. Of oh, like a moving car, <laughs> right? A moving car on yep. the highway. <laughs> Which is tempting. <laughs> I did. I did. I got sold a fucking bill of goods. 
<laughs> or a, bi- a bill of bads, honestly. Like, I signed up for shitty new metal and I somehow got something worse. Oh boy, well... 1995, uh, not, not that much. It was probably 15 or 16 bucks. Still! What's that? Oh, thanks. <laughs> Good. Cool. Well, then it all works out. It's a, I call it a win, then. <laughs> I'm not calling you Copernicus. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, Riccio? <laughs> You, I know for a fact, I know for a fact your name is not Copernicus. Uh, I mean, hey. I say, it's kind of set in stone now. Yeah. Oh, look, there's Hobbs. Hello, Hello sir. Mister. So, Jess, when you put the top down on the litter box, is it all the way down? No. Okay. But no, so I have he that just up. so yeah that front that front flap is still open but yeah. that means eventually we can probably close it up all the way. Hopefully, if he feels comfortable in there. I think he will. Ding, ding. He's a good boy. He is a good boy. He's a great cat. He's a great little fat cat. Sure is. He's the best dog ever, Riccio. Oh man. He's Air someday Bud. Someday we somebody will have a Shiba Inu. That's awesome. Well, that's like uh, that meme I've seen recently the, with the moose. Oh yeah, the moose one's good. There's also the there's like a clip from an anime where like a nerdy boy is looking at a butterfly and he's and the well no that's the the, the subtitle is what type of bird is this? <laughs> that's better. That's awesome. I like that one a lot. It was just like a beware of dog. And there's a moose on yeah, the other side yeah. of the fence. Yep. That's a, yeah, that's a newer one. That's a fresh meme. Ooh, mm. ooh, a fresh one. A tasty, a tasty <laughs> fresh <laughs> meme. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. Okay. Oh, the fuck. Oh, it is sexy. Super erotic. All right, guys. It's 11.59. So this is going to be my last life. No. Yeah. We both have to work tomorrow, Jess. I know. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, give me those sweet Maymays. Maymays kids. Thanks. Yeah? Ooh. <laughs> what kind of a jacket? I'm hoping for like like a high school letterman jacket. Okay. Yeah, hell yeah. Oh man, I'll have to, I would love to see that. <laughs> it's not worth it. Not worth tracking down. <laughs> well, hey, you know what? I uh, I appreciate your candor. Thank thank you for uh, giving because, it to me straight. Because I like seeing him play ukulele. Oh yeah, those pictures are so good. Him hanging out with. Ah. <laughs> I'm always so happy when, cause like Jess knows the puns don't ever stop. Like I can't help it. That's why I love you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ricky. I tire of this. I tire of this. These, what is that skeleton dog is so creepy? I fucking hate these guys. What is the trick? I mean, I know I know what Ricky was gonna say. Get good. Boop. Oh yeah, that's so weird. I um, don't understand that lag. Well, it's I mean it's there's one it's one of three things. It's either our internet is too slow, my computer is too slow, or or Twitch is too slow, or some combination of those three things. I don't know what it is. It could, yeah. absolutely, it could totally be all three. Or just two, you know? When can I do Super Mario World? Uh, after Octoween. Okay. So, November. Yep. Alright, guys. I think, we're, I think it's time to pack it in. I've, I've clearly... <laughs> well, it'll, it'll catch life. up. Yeah, and I lost that life. Um, so, guys, thanks for stopping in. Uh... Whoa, 
was just sad. Well, I'm not gonna get farther. <laughs> I've been playing the same level for like an hour. <laughs> like, what? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh man, I thought my I thought my flight stick would be the best way to play Castlevania. Um, yeah, we gotta go. We, it's a school night. We gotta go to bed. Um, but Jess, thanks for stopping in. Oh well, some of us have jobs to work. We don't get to just I watch a movie college. in class. I miss college too. Um, ow, oh, ow, okay. Oh, you cramping? Just a little bit. Okay, there we go. I gotta reposition. Okay. So, Ted, thank you for stopping in. Riccio, thank you for stopping in. Jess, thank you for stopping in. Mm, thanks, Riccio. You're very welcome, Matt. <laughs> thanks, Jess. Swamp Dog, if you're still here. No, I speak on Riccio's behalf. Riccio is. You exclusively very... are Riccio's mouthpiece. I am. I am Rick. I am Riccio's mouthpiece. Yep. And I am telling you that Riccio is very happy oh, that wow, that's you so great. allowed oh, wow. him to be a part of your stream. Oh, wow. Thanks, Riccio. That's so kind of you. Um, Swamp Dog, if you're still here, <laughs> thanks for stopping in. If there's anybody else watching, thank you for watching. Uh, I'm Matt. This is Jess. Hi. Uh, this is Super Apartment Friends, but it's Octoween, so it's Spooker Apartment Fiends. So we're going <laughs> to we're gonna still play. I haven't heard that yet. You had it? No. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> So, uh, oh yeah, he's jamming. Look at it. he, dude. Cause Castlevania games have sweet music. Do, 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 do. I Look know. Look at all those muscles. How he's many jacked. muscles are on those legs? He's jet. Well, the his legs have like those cool strappy sandals. I think. Oh, is that what that is? I or are so. they really? Or weird? like sweet shin guards. Are they really <laughs> weird? Like Riccio says it's lingerie. Knee pallets. Yep, knee pallets. Um, uh oh, you lost your thing. You lost your bud, bud. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna bounce out. I'll I'll keep it. Uh, I'll keep you updated on tomorrow's bonus stream with uh Ralph, aka Snake Piss. We're gonna play Silent Hill Three. Mm -hmm. So that's gonna be great. Um, you guys all know this, but I'm gonna say it just in case there's any lurkers lurking. Uh, you can follow us on Facebook as Super Apartment Friends. We're on Twitter as Super APT Friends. Um, we're normally here. Every week, 10 to midnight. Don't laugh, Jess. <laughs> 10 to midnight, laugh. Eastern time. Uh, and I think that's it. Sounds it sounds like 6 to midnight, It right? sounds like, like 6 to boner? midnight. Yeah, like a boner. Uh, so, yeah, I think I think that's it. I think we're going to duck out. What? <laughs> yes. I think you're right. I think we could get 10,000 likes on YouTube by the end of the week. Yeah. We have six subscribers, I think, last time I checked. So we're getting close. On YouTube? Yeah. I didn't realize we were on YouTube. Yeah. So, you know, that's something I've never plugged. If uh, if you ever want to watch a show that you missed or rewatch a show, I, I put them all on YouTube. So Ted does that. Fuck yeah. Thanks, Ted. That's awesome. Thanks, Ted. Um, yeah, so yeah, and I, I've, I've started curating collections, so like, if you want to just watch, uh, all of one game, or all of one theme, like, uh, I've got the Kaiju Lai stuff all together, I'm putting all the Spooker Apartment Fiends stuff together, so yeah, it's all there, it's all there, content, content, content. Delicious We're, puns. So many puns, more puns than any human being can handle. <laughs> She did. Oh, she maybe. did say sometimes, delicious cons. Sometimes I do. Sometimes she does. That's that's why we're engaged. Oh yeah. Boats are floated. Don't you worry, <laughs> Riccio. We float the shit out of some boats. Alright. It's bedtime. It's bedtime, fellas. Uh catch us tomorrow. I'll keep you posted uh once we nail down a time. It should be great. Uh oh. Ah, oh, Jess, no one can see your beautiful face. Get in here. Yeah. All right. Oh, oh, oh no. Bye.